all right hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we want to look at this um, beautiful problem it says that we should uh, solve the following system and you know when you have a system the implication is that you have at least more than one equation okay so and the first equation is the yeah, x to the power of a fourth plus y to the power of a fifth is equal to 5 and then we have x to the power of 2 to uh, uh, 3 quarter and then y to the power of 3 over 5 to be equal to 35 so we have two equations to solve right now so what do we do now the when you are giving two equations it means you're solving them simultaneously and you want to find a value of x and y that will satisfy the both equations okay so what can we do now now one of the things we can do is uh, to now one of the things we can do is uh, to raise uh, the powers of both sides in order to cancel out the fractional powers we have but that is also going to be difficult because of the addition signs that we have here so you know then in other words we would have to look for something else and um, okay so one uh, of the things we can do here is to quickly see if we can substitute um, variables you know so i can say let my x to the power of 1 over 4 be equal to another variable maybe i can call it a okay so now if i call it a it means that my equation to the variable will change so that is x to the power of 3 over 4 is now going to become of course you know by indices this is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 4 or raised to the power of 3 so that means that my uh, the x variable in equation 2 will now become a to the power of 3 okay so we can keep those two and then we can also say let um, x to the power of uh, um, sorry y this time around we are done with x so we go to y so we can say let y to the power of 1 over 5 which is in equation 1 let's call it b and if we do that it will also affect the y in equation 2 so you recall that oh sorry you can see that y in equation 2 is a power of 3 over 5 and so we can write that as um, power of uh, of course if you follow this method so this one will now become y to the power of 1 over 5 all over sorry all raised to the power of 3 and so our b will also be to the power of 3 here so in other words our equations have changed the first has now become a plus b is equal to 5 as equation 1 and then the second has become a raised to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to 35 and this is now our equation 2 all right so what can we do now to be able to solve the equation that we have uh, just gotten now okay so the first thing to note now is that a plus b can be found inside a cube plus b cube all right so if we use a binomial expansion yeah, by the time we expand a plus b or raised to the power of three we are going to get a cube plus b cube and then some a plus b you know inside it okay let, let's quickly use expansion of brackets and so we are going to have a plus b all squared multiplied by a plus b and of course you know that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab and then plus b squared all now multiplied by a plus b okay so if you try to expand this you are now going to get a cubed plus a squared b you know i'm multiplying with this first 
So I will use it to multiply these two brackets and I will also use this one. So if I use the second one now, I will have 2a squared b and it will also multiply b to give me 2ab squared. Okay, and finally I will use b squared to multiply, which will give me ab squared. And then finally I will get uh, b cube. Okay, so if I bring my B, uh, A cube and B cube together, I will have this plus uh, uh, a, a B cube. Of course, I will then collect like terms. Now I have A squared and I have um, A squared B plus uh, this is 2A squared B. Okay, so if I join the two, I'm going to get 3A squared B. And then if I join 2ab squared and this one, I will have 3ab squared. Okay, so finally, at this point, I'm going to have my a cubed plus b cubed. You know, and then here I can factorize 3ab and then that will give me a plus b into the bracket. Now, remember that it is our A plus B or cube that gave us all of this. All right. So now, re, uh, if you look at our equation three, so, so we can choose to now make A cube plus B cube the subject. And if we do that, so we we'll now have A cube plus B cube is now equal to, so this is... Uh, the value of my a, a cube plus b cube. And now, so from here, I actually have the value of my a plus b. Remember what I said? We can find equation one into equation two. So I can substitute my a plus b is five. So I have five cube minus three ab um, multiplied by five also. Okay, and so this is going to give us one, two, five minus 15 a b okay now remember that from equation two let's look at it from equation two our a cube plus b cube uh, is equal to 35 so that means i can write the left hand side as 35 and when i do that and then i can make this a b the subject and that's going to give me 15 AB. If it comes here, it becomes positive. So this will now mean that AB alone is 90 over 15. And, and that is equal to six. So I have an, another equation. AB is equal to six and A plus B is equal to five. Let me bring that equation two down or equation one, sorry. Equation one says that A plus B is equal to five okay so now by a mere comparison of equation one and three you can get the values of a and b of course you know you can solve these two equations now using a um, uh, simultaneous uh, approach which will now lead us to quadratic equation and so we will get the values of a and b but now we can just observe you know, because you're working with time, we can just observe and then get our answer. You know, since they are saying that A plus B is 5 and A times B is 6, the only two numbers that will do that uh, for us will be, of course, positive ones. That is what we are considering will be 2 and 3. OK, so what that means is that my A <clears throat> is equal, can be 2 or 3. And then, or uh, likewise, my B can also be 2 or 3. Okay, so any of them, when my A is uh, 2, my, now let's, let's put it that way. So when my A is 2, my B is 3. And then when my A is 3, my B is equal to 2. Okay, so each of these will be able to satisfy these two. Uh, equations that we have here now but recall that they did not ask us to find a and b we are actually asked to find x and y because they said we should solve this system and to solve this system you would need to get the value of x and for y now but we have a relationship between a 
and x and we also have a relationship between b and y so with that relationship we should be able to get the values of x and y let's attempt doing that here so since my x raised to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to a and at first my a is equal to 2 so what it means is that my x alone will be 2 to the power of 4 which is equal to 16 and at that point you know that my y raised to the power of 1 over 5 is equal to b so and we got b to be equal to we got b to be equal to uh, 3 when a is uh, 2 so that means we will now raise it to the power of 5 and that will give us should give us around 2 4 3 or so i think i'm correct 2 4 3 and so when a is 2 and b is 3 so it means that at that point our x is equal to 16 and our y is equal to 2 4 3 okay help me confirm that i think so however that's not the only solution what about when a is 3 and b is 2 okay so let's look at that case so when our a is uh, 3 so it means that x raised to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to 3 and so x alone will be equal to 3 raised to the power of 4 and 3 raised to the power of 4 is 81 and in the same vein at that point when uh, a, a is 3 our b is equal to 2 so that means that our y to the power of 1 over 5 will be equal to 2 okay and so our y alone will be equal to 2 to the power of 5 so that means y is equal to 32 and i hope you understand why i t i do all of this you know by a uh, rule of indices if i have uh, this if i take both sides to the power of five five will cancel this and then this one will be raised to the power of five that's also the principle i used here if i raise both sides to the power of four four will cancel one over four and so i'll just have three to the power of five which is as well what i did up there now so the implication now is that my x and y will have two values okay so it is either at first my x is 16 and y is 243 or secondly my x is 81 and my y is 32 okay so this is the set of values of our x and y for the system of equation given to us all right so that is what i have for you in this video solving of this system of equation it's an olympiad math problem kindly give a thumbs up to this video do uh, subscribe to our youtube channel share our videos to your friends and your colleagues we will see you in our next video bye